So let's play around with some more rhythms, yeah? Last month I showed y'all how to play melodically, harmonically, and rhythmically at the same time using universal rhythms distributed over the two hands like this. There's the 3-3-2. Three, three, and any rearrangement of those numbers. And then for the two measures, there's the 3-3-4-3-3. Three, 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 three. So what if we condensed all of that to just being played with the left hand so that the right hand can stun and do some other slick shit? Let's give it a try, yeah? So first, let's take a look at the three, two, three. What's that gonna be like for just left hand? Well, I'm gonna condense this down to here for start so that it could all be reached comfortably. And let's give it a go. Easy enough, definitely a workout. So now it's all about this wrist pivot. You really wanna slap with your thumb. It's all about just the wrist. You really wanna feel it with the wrist. And obviously a good way to know that you're really hitting this is just turn off push. Imagine this was just an acoustic drum, and you want to make this thing really just slap. It's all about that thumb. Now turn push back on, let's see how it feels. Hell yeah! So now with the right hand, why don't I just play a note for every thumb that's played here, and why don't I just maybe arpeggiate through the upper structure of the ninth chord, like this. Three, and. Yeah. Hell yeah. And remember, you can rearrange those threes and twos any way you want. We could do two, three, three, like this. And now let's look at the possibilities using two measures, 16 eighth notes. This is where a lot of the clave variations come from, by the way. Let's try the king of them all, 3-3-4-3-3. Three, 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 three. And I'm going to do the same concept, except now with the left hand, I'm going to add the ring finger right here. So that I can do the four. So practice this for now. Same premise, let's add the right hand. Let's get it. Hell yeah. Let's try some of the other groupings. Maybe four, three, 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 three. three. Why not? Ooh, that one's so cool. That one might be my favorite. That one really reminds me of Roomba Clave. Uh, 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 uh. Hell yeah, I could do that all day. Try and make me stop. So hell yeah, guess what the next step is? Changing up the melodies and changing up the harmonies. Now this gets real challenging real fast, so I recommend that we strip it down to maybe the right hand just playing a single note. Like what if the, what if my right hand was just riding on the C and we kind of do this exploration of common tones where we see how many things we can harmonize C with. Anything can harmonize with anything. Let's get it. I'm gonna do three, three, four, three, three, why not?
hung in there for dear life. That is a serious exercise. Have fun exploring that and all the other variations I showed you. This is a sick way to play push, to play music in general. This is how you make people move with these rhythms right here. They work. They've worked for thousands of years and best believe they work today. Much love. Stay sweats, y'all.